Ah, she's uh, she's off to her friend, I guess. Maybe not this area too. Hmm, we can go to Zordo's now, which is the shop, if I remember correctly. Let us get the secret army of plain clothesmen lurking the bricks. We call them Janglers. They report on any potential enemies of the family. You never know when you're talking to a jangler. Could be anyone. They're just regular people like you and me. This dude, maybe. There are even rumors of child janglers who roam the playgrounds, <laughs> turning in their own five-year-old classmates. No one is safe. You're one of them, aren't you? You're a jangler. Why else would you keep talking to me? This is the fourth time you've engaged me in conversation. Who would do that who didn't have an agenda? Beat it, jangler. <laughs> I like how the game calls you out on stuff. Off to... Limping man. What's this? Boots? That's Yerokan. Did anyone follow you down here? One of the spies is ghosting me. I think I lost him in Fountain Spiral. Listen, you gotta warn Marina. Tell her Detta knows she's the biggest fish in the resistance. He's stepping up the war effort. And all the Nox guards on his payroll are under orders to catch her. But quick. Yeah, we saw, we met a Nox guard with her picture. But we didn't tell him where she was. I know you're in the habit of helping the resistance, but can you get these blueprints to Marina? They're very important. She needs to go underground for a few days. Tell her to keep herself and these plants safe. I will. I'll do that. I'm gonna linger here and make sure that spy is off my scent. Yeah. Ah. These are great. Look at them. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. Don't you love watching Bipidri work? Look at them up there, hammering and clobbering with those tiny tools. I do. It sends shivers up my spine. Well, not quite like that. I think it's their work song that quickens my pulse the most. Nobody knows who wrote it or where it came from, but every Bipedri sings it throughout the day. At one point in their evolution, they could spit a toxic spray into an enemy's eyes. Too bad they lost the ability after thousands and thousands of years of des domestication. Many people are unaware that there is an extremely rare breed of bipedry with very distinctive colouring. They're bright red. I've only seen one in my life, and they're on and then only on Sendernet. Have you got a camera? I understand there are eight red bipedry working this arm of the galaxy. You ought to keep an eye out and photograph each one. I'd shell out some major dough if I could get my hand on some good snapshots of red bipedry. But if I call, catch you calling them bippies, then the deal's off. That's offensive. I like bippy. Cool, so we've got another camera um, task or job. Yeah, off to Zordo's. Challenge to the detective eyes. Yeah. No. Right. Shell number three. Ah. Uh. <laughs> of course. Oof. That that just seems like a, a really swell guy. Poop or guns. 
used to be an honest man could earn a clean living in the bricks. So much for that. Not everyone here is a criminal. Some of us actually lead honest lives, although the temptation to hit you over the head and take your money right now is pretty high. Seriously, get away from me, for your own safety. Alright, dude. Off to Zordos. Oh, I could actually take a picture of these dudes. This one is actually an angry one. There we go. I'll also take a picture of the one that was doing the shell game. Look at that clone. Where do they get off trying to pass that duplicate off as Gordo? Zordo is a total fake. How could anyone mistake those gestures, that tone of voice, that posture for a real person? Much less Gordo himself. So the owner of the shop duplicates, cloned himself to run shops in other places. So Zordo is just a clone of the original owner. Oof. Creepy. What about you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what he's got for sale and how much money I need for it. Hail, young soldier. Yes. So he sells heel grease too, that's good. And a shield cell. I could actually use that. Wristband. Oh, those are expensive. And glow dents. He doesn't actually sell any guns. Do I have a shield? I didn't buy anything. Let me just check. No, he doesn't have one. I needed this. Okay. I think I'll buy two of the shield cells. That should help us a bit. Might find ones later, I'm not sure, but I'll feel better knowing that I've got some protection now. So, oh, take a picture of that one. There we go. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four. Just need one more, really. Unless that picture with two of them only counts as one. Hm. Uh, let's go. Oh, this is the Mystic Museum. We don't really need to go there right now. Come back here later. Where we do need to go is back to Rowdy's to drop off the blueprints and warn Marina that uh, Detta is on tour and that she needs to lay low for a while. And after that we will uh, go to the tenement area and uh, find that local cold wolf guy and see where it leads us. Did you see Yerokan anywhere? Yes, he told me to give you these blueprints. And he said, Detta knows you're the big noise around here. Better make yourself scared, sister. Thanks for your help, Boots. I owe you. Thanks. Got a lot of money, too. What about you? Thanks for the blueprints. Guess there's hope for you yet. Unfortunately, Yerokan might still have some heat on his back. Mind checking up on him? Sure, now that we're in this area anyway, might as well. Um, save. 
uh, and it's uh, unless you play on really easy you can only save uh, at those time minder save points um, if you play on really easy you can save anywhere but to be honest there are so many of them that that really shouldn't be a problem I oversave and even I think there's more than enough of them uh, am I going the right way this one yeah you gave Marina the plans? No kidding. See, I knew you weren't a flake. <laughs> when people talk bad about you at the bar, I always tell them, just give the guy a chance. Listen, I need to get a past fountain spiral, but not if there's any heat. Let me know. If we did see a suspicious type there, didn't we? We saw that um, the guy who was asking for a package and then pretended that he was waiting for his wife. So let's go take a picture of him. Uh, he was in here, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Ugh. Go. Mission accomplished. I wasn't taking a picture of you. I'm back. Am I going the wrong way? The right way. I am not. The district of South Anagranox is not liable for injury or death resulting from plate transition. Yeah, well, got a picture. Haha. Uh -huh. So I am now somewhat of a uh, freelance member of the resistance, I suppose. At least they uh, think they can trust me. Well, they know. I'm a trustworthy sort. Especially if there's money in it. They gave me $200 just for delivering that paperwork. I'm fine with that. Um, Grumpos. We just got something new. An eluder bracelet. An eluder band, yeah. We can improve either Grumpos or Boots block. Let's improve Grumpos block because he's not really great, is he? So what do we have to do? Mysterious guy somewhere in the bricks named Eddie who knows things. Uh, so we need to find Loco Cold Wolf at the Barton Arms. Oh hey, I've got four pictures. I still need one. And I can delete that picture of the uh, jangler.
Uh, I think there was one around the corner here, one of those brebulans. Transition major, flight section C, D, E, and F will commence in 15 seconds. Alright, just uh, stand still while I take a non-suspicious picture. Please keep area clear. The district of South Anachronox is not liable for injury or death resulting from plate transition. Transition complete. Um... I don't like having quests just open, so I'm just going to return that now, so I can delete all my photos and uh, use them for other things. I think you mainly use your camera just for the collection quests and, and just a little here and there of can you take a picture of this man or that uh, person. Uh, I don't think you use it too much throughout the game. Alright, let's go talk to him. We should have five big brebulans now. 500 loonies, that was easy money really. Hope we didn't get them killed though. Arrested. Some of them were harmless. But hey, 500 loonies. Worth it. And we can now delete all the photos we've got on our camera. And uh, use them for other, use the slots for other things. Like those red uh, bippies. That we need to find. So that is an ongoing collector's quest. There is, uh, I think, only one or maximum two in each area. And there's only eight throughout the game, I think. Uh, so that is ongoing. Uh, as you travel around and find other planets, uh, you have to keep an eye out for those things. And often they're in places where you can't even see them properly. You really have to... Um, listen for them because he does mention they have a work song and that is uh, oh I don't think we need it to lift but we do need it for the bippy because there's one right here actually I always forget how you meant to photograph it but I don't know if it's really cute let me just see if I can turn off the... Music volume. Just for a second. So that is the sound you are looking for throughout the game. Um, if you hear that, that means there's a BP nearby. And you ha you just have to find basically the angle of where can you photograph it from. I don't even think you can see it from here. Think if I remember correctly, you can photograph it if you go down here, down this ramp. Uh, but this will trigger my um, local coal wolf quest. Okay, there's the place. Don't follow him from too far a distance and lose him, but don't stick too close and get caught either. 
I already gave that time minder a quick pet for good luck as we passed it, so we're at least to go. Don't let me down. This is what I do best, Pops. Stay off my back and I'll handle this lightly and politely. Quiet! I really hate this quest. Stand by. Uh, I personally feel this so often, I find it super hard to keep the proper distance, especially when he starts riding elevators and stuff. Um, to top that off, uh, it's, um, there was an unofficial patch that at some point I had installed to fix some issues but it would crash uh, this quest so what would happen was you'd follow him uh, in the elevator up and instead of loading the quest it would just be the uh, regular zone you'd load into so he wasn't there so you couldn't follow him anymore and it would automatically fail and you'd have to start all over again and it keep doing that uh, unless you timed it exactly right so I have no love for this quest because he goes through a couple different loading areas like here Just uh, admiring the boxes. Symmetrical crystal tree. Search junkyard. Junkyard too dangerous. Let's talk to these dudes later because our man is back on track. So obviously you can't get in the elevator with him because that is too close. But as soon as he gets off fit and you're not on it, you get this message. If that lasts too long, you fail the quest. So this is a bit annoying, I guess. It's going well now, though. No crashes. The Steam version of Anachronox, because originally I only had the disc version because I bought it years ago. It was in a bargain bin. Um, now I have the Steam version and this comes with uh, uh, an unofficial patch and uh, that actually fi fixes a lot of the bugs and glitches. And it always also makes it working properly because I had a lot of problem with just generic crashes on newer systems with my disc version. I'm quite happy with this. It's quite cheap on Steam too. Definitely worth it if you're into this type of game. I'm too close. There it goes. So yeah, you have to follow him around for quite a while. And if I fail here at the end, I have to redo the whole thing. Oh look, it's more of those cute ones. But these are not the red ones, so we don't want a picture of those. These are the regular ones. We haven't been here before, have we? Obviously not suspicious already. Oh, this uh, guy in a long leather trench coat and an uh, old man with a beard that reaches the floor up. Happened to go the same way I am. Close. Because he was right around the corner.
A ver si quiero ver. Found him. Well, found where he was going. A diner. Of course. <laughs> What's wrong with his face? Is that like a ginger beard? I use Eddie to acquire sensitive information. My clients pay big bucks to find out if, say, their wife's cheating on them or if their business partner's taking them for a ride, but he's more discreet than a private dick, see, because he just happens to know things, you know? And the fact that I charge a personal go-between fee ain't nobody but nobody's business, so give me the briefcase back. Not until you tell us where to find Eddie, you skunk. Come on, <laughs> you ain't gonna be that way. He lives in the junkyard. That stinkhole? Ask him whatever you want while you're there. It's no big deal. He's a pretty nice guy. Just make sure you take him something chewy. Chewy? Yeah, and stinky. Chewing on stuff helps him concentrate. He can be a little, uh, unfocused sometimes. That's good. That's real good. Okay, well, we're gonna let you walk. But you watch who you're messing with next time. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not impressed. Oh, I was trying to be all tough and all. So we need to get something chewy for Eddie. Stinky and chewy. Can't see how that will go wrong. Maybe something like this, eh? Looks stinky enough. It's probably chewy too. Do you smell that? Brebulent food is the nastiest, stinkiest excuse for nourishment in the galaxy. But uh, that's what you would think, maybe being in a diner and all, but it's not actually what we're going to bring him. What we'll bring him is a much better than stinky food. If she doesn't come out there soon, I'll break down the door. <laughs> Cues. Obviously, I can't go to the female one. Nothing to loot here. It's a shame. They forgot the goiter sauce. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna get fat. Look around. I don't people get fat on an Akronox. Indeed, they all look the same. I've run a Sendinet search for the keyword stinky and chewy and it turned up an article on a poor guy who lost half his foot in an industrial accident. Ugh. Quote. They wouldn't give me no workman's comp, so I've been out of work. Ain't even got me a change of clothes. The sock on my infected foot is all stinky and chewy from the pus. Ugh. Says he spent the day limping around the tunnels near the fountain spiral, begging for money. Have fun! Ah, oh, she's the cheeriest secretary ever, isn't she? Thanks. I'm a writer, sorry, journalist for Anox Headline Edition. We were gonna air an expose on the rise to power of data, but someone at Sendinet pulled the plug on the segment. I wonder why. The intro went something like. From street tug to corporate power player, Vendelin Detta made his fortune from a bloody cocktail of blackmail, extortion and violence. Do you think that's too inflammatory? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. People are too sensitive. I don't know why a crime lord would find that offensive. Oh. Is that man dead? Uh. 
<laughs> right. But the Nox guards committed to murder themselves. They're all bastards. Let's go check it out. It does seem like someone is dead here. How about this cool dude? Detective Rock. Wait a ticking minute, is that you, Sly? On a PAX investigation! Please, job to job. Never hear of Tetra. The biggest fad on the market these days very illegal. Investigating a series of killings related to dealers of the drug. So there's one person killing people. <laughs> Nox guards are even dumber than I remember. All right, we've been there. <laughs> Dive where all the burnouts live. Hey, Grumpos. Yeah, yeah. I will. I'll have to go check that out. Uh, this is a quest that, as far as I know, does not appear. Yeah. Uh, does not appear in your quest log at all. Uh, but it continues throughout the game if you do it correctly, if you help him out properly and all. Uh, throughout the game you'll be given short follow-ups on that. Uh, we'll come back here later. But what I was going to do was uh, take a picture of the... Oh, we've got the taxis here. That is so awesome. Uh, going back to the tenements. Uh, $4. $6. Yeah, whatever. This was added with the with the patch. This wasn't in the original game, actually. These taxis, but they do cut back on all the uh, backtracking you continuously have to do in this game, uh, which can get a bit tedious. But we were going to photograph. There it is. You can just about see it here. The red bippy that we heard. So actually I'm going to delete all these previous photos because I no longer need them. I'm going to start over again. Awesome! So we've got that. Uh, we need to go back to the starting area where Rowdy's is. Uh, so we can get um, the sock, chinky, stinky, chewy sock. <laughs> These are a bit cheeky. Oh, uh, actually. While we're here, we'll first go investigate the apartment for the murder victim. Transition major of your flight section C, D, E, and F will commence in 15 seconds. So that next time we pass Inspector Rook, we can get the information. Please keep area clear. The district of South. I can't remember what flat he said he was in, but it was in one of the ones I already 
checked. Uh, so I can't remember if it was the second or the third floor. But uh, oh. <laughs> there was a murder here. Of course, this is where Simon um, lived. The guy, so she she did actually kill him. No, maybe he deserved it. Looks like this life curse is pretty fried. I think I can still link with it though. Just a second. Last message received. Truth, one of Cube's buddies, sent her a warning that a deal she was planning was a potion. Turns out the last anonymous deal for an unflawed tetra crystal turned sour. The dealer was found in an alley minus his heart and his tetra. Truth was advising Cube to drop the deal and skip out of town before it was too late. That's all I can find. Sorry, hon. Uh, oh, just checking if there's anything else here that we need to uh, report. We'll not need to report about the heel grease. Nothing in the... Nothing suspicious in the bathroom, eh? No, I guess that's it. So we've got the information that we need to give to the inspector. Alrighty. So let's leave this place. 